Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to use the Jet Engine plugin by Crackleblocks. So we'll be building this job listing website where you're able to submit a job listing and then that will populate over here dynamically. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so for this directory website, we will be utilizing this plugin from Crackleblocks called Jet Engine. So this will be the backend in terms of creating our dynamic listing functionality so this is a paid plugin which costs about 43 dollars a year and it works with all the major page builders like elementor and, and gutenberg so if you'd like to purchase this plugin then you can click the affiliate link in the description to help out my channel and let's get started with the tutorial once you have the plugin and the license key we can go into our wordpress dashboard and install the plugin okay so the since this is a paid plugin you'll have to upload it first and then enter your license key okay and then activate the plugin okay and then you'll have to activate the license key as well that that comes with the purchase of your jet engine plugin so once you have that set up then next we can install our page builder plugin so let's use elementor so click add new plugin let's search for elementor okay and then install okay and then activate okay great so we can just skip the setup here yep we can use their hello theme okay and just go with the default i don't have a logo for this site Okay, so now back here in Jet Engine, what we want to do is create our listing. Okay, so we're going to be working with the Jet Engine plugin. So we don't need any of the custom modules right now. So what we can do is just go here into post types and create our custom post type. Okay, so we're going to be building a job listing site. So here in custom post type, let's create a post type for job listing. So it'll be job listing. Okay, and then these are the labels for adding new listings. So we can, it says saying add new item will be new listing. So if you want to overwrite these by default, then you can do that here. Okay. So over here, just a singular name will be job listing. Okay. And then what's important is adding the meta fields over here. So let's say the job description just a larger text area field. Okay, and we can just keep everything by default. Yep, and we'll make this a required when setting this up. So the next let's do say job location. And this one will be a text field. So let's see what else would be required. Could do something like salary or compensation okay, and we'll keep that as a text okay and then job title should be the first one actually okay and that one's a text as well okay so that's good so let's just move the job title up to the top yep so we have the title the description the location and the compensation that's good to start off so we can add this post type okay so now we have this post type over here so we can add some new listings okay so to add a new listing you use the default gutenberg editor so let's do let's say wordpress developer okay and then the title again wordpress developer make websites location toronto compensation 100,000. okay and then publish so now let's try to list it on the front end so go over here into Jet Engine plugin and then go into listings and then go into add listing and then the listing source is from job listings. Okay, and then listing item name, job listing again and create listing item. Okay, great. So now we'll be able to create a page or a listing using Elementor. Okay, so Jet Engine has their own widget, which we can use to display our custom data. Okay, so over here in the listing elements, what we wanna use is this one over here, the dynamic field. Okay, and then choose the source. So meta field, metadata, and then over here we have our job listing elements so we can do the job title okay and then duplicate that this one will be the description 
and duplicate that. And then this one will be the location Then duplicate again, then the compensation. Okay, and then we're gonna click update. So we have all our data showing over here. Let's create the listing grid on our homepage. Okay, so back in WP admin. So we're just gonna create the front page to show our latest listings. Okay, so right now it's just the default page. So let's just make a quick uh, web page to show our latest job listing. So go here into pages and add new and just write home and then click edit with Elementor. Okay, so we just have a container here and then inside the container we'll have a heading. So let's say latest job listings. Okay, and then just on the page settings, let's uh, hide the title here. Okay, and then the title over here, let's just center it and then just change the color to, to black. And then underneath this is where we're gonna publish our dynamic data. Okay, so we're gonna find our listing element and then we're gonna use the listing grid element. And over here, we're gonna choose our job listing item awesome so there's our listing over here okay and then if we click publish and then review our home page great and here's our um, data being shown in our job listing website okay and then i'll add in another job listing for reference so go here and add a new job listing this one let's do graphic designer make graphics job location vancouver compensation 100,000 and then publish. Okay, and let's go back to our home page. So we just need to set the home page again. So just over here in reading, home page, just set it to home and save. And let's view our home page. Great. So now we have our two listings over here. So let's improve our kind of layout and just add in some labels on our listing. So to do that, what you want to do is go into the listings section and then over here, we'll just edit with Elementor. Okay. And then now we can just fix this here. So now that we know that it's working, we can add in just some labels. Okay. So let's just remove the column gaps so that it's cleaner. Next to dynamic fields, we need to add a grid. So let's just put it in a grid. So edit the grid here. So let's do it a two column grid and just one row. So we're gonna put all our dynamic fields in one section, add a container there and over here, put another container. Okay, so we'll put our dynamic fields in the container over here. Okay, so this is good. And then on this side, we can just add in our text editor. Okay, so we'll just move, let's move everything here and then move this stuff over here on this side. Okay, and then I'll just put this container over here. Okay, and then I'll just rearrange the data. Great, and then let's just add in our labels. So job description, job title, job description, and then job location and compensation. Okay, and then we'll just move that over to the right side. Okay, and then just fix up the spacing over here. Again, just with the gap and same on this container and the gap as well. So let's just fix the alignment. So just with the rows, let's just add in some spacing. I think that's aligned. So let's click update. Okay, and then let's view our home page again. Okay, awesome. So we do have our labels here now. So that looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so let's try creating like a form so others can add in their own listing. So we can do say over here forms and then click save. Okay, so now we have forms enabled. So let's go into forms and we're gonna create a new form. Okay, so this is gonna be called job listing. Okay, so we're gonna add a field and edit the field. So again, it's the same process that we did before. So we're gonna enter a job title. And then what did we have next? We had job description. And this is a text area. Yep, so just make all these required and then apply. Then again, another field, job location. Okay, and apply. Okay, and then the last field is compensation. 
Okay, and then apply that change. And then we'll just rearrange our submit button down here. Okay, and then we're gonna click publish to save our changes. Okay, and then down here, we're gonna map the data that's submitted here to our job listing. Okay, so what you wanna do on submit is insert or update the posts. We're gonna choose job listing and then publish. Yeah, because this is a, to create a new job post. So in the title form listing as well, you should write new job listing. And then we're gonna connect post ID. Okay, in the title, we're gonna use post meta. And then we need to just double check our job listing post type. Let's just go back to our admin to make sure that it's correct. Yep, so we just need to copy these fields over here. So job title, and then we would post that over here. Job description and do the same for the others. Okay, and then apply changes and then update. Okay, great. So now let's try to add this form to our home page. So back in pages, all pages, home page. So we'll just add it to the top of our application. So let's search the listing form. Yep, so we have our form here. And then what did we name it? We named it new job listing. Okay, so let's update that. And then now let's check our home page. Okay, so job title, let's say marketing manager in charge of marketing, job location, Toronto. For some reason the label here isn't working, so I need to double check that. So compensation and then click submit. And awesome. So it's working here now as well. Just made a mistake with the compensation there. So we can just edit that in our form again, just to finish off. So back in dashboard, go back here into forms and then edit. And then just in the compensation here, I didn't add a label. So compensation, then apply changes and then update. And then over here in our job listings, we check now we have our so it rewrote our post title here so we can just fix that in the form as well so let's just fix this okay so just here in forms we're going to edit our listing and then uh just over here in the notifications we're just gonna change this to just the default and click apply changes and click update okay so now let's try to add a new listing again so let's do ceo make strategic decisions okay and then submit okay great so our post is showing let's just check our back end now and go to job listings okay and there we go so now our listings are showing here so yeah you just need to update the titling over here but yeah so now our listings are showing correctly but yes just so we don't make the same mistake that we did originally. Just make sure when you're creating the form that when you set up the post ID, you don't overwrite the current post ID like we did in this case. So over here, don't set it to post ID as this will overwrite the page that the form resides on. Okay, great. So we have a working job listing directory with the jet engine plugin so you can go more in detail with building this application by setting up memberships but just in this beginner tutorial i just skipped out on creating membership functionality as i have other videos on setting up a membership website but in this case we we're just creating custom post types and a dynamic form with the jet engine plugin so that we're able to create a dynamic listing website and a form so anyone can come and add more listings to your database. So this concludes the end of the video. If you're looking to purchase the Jet Engine plugin, then you can use the link in the description to support the channel. And if you're looking for help with setting up Jet Engine on your website, then you can check out my agency, Maplet Media, to get in contact with me. I can help out with your project. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.